Is this thing on? Yeah, I think we're good. Welcome back! All right, so we had wanted to build our own chicken coop, but just, it wasn't time to build our own, so some friends of ours, uh, we ordered a chicken coop from them. They built it for us, but now we're gonna build a run around it. That's what I'm working on. So I went to the local big box store and I purchased some uh, ground contact pressure treated lumber. These are 10 foot two by sixes. And I began just by screwing each of the corners together with two to three deck screws just to connect it, making sure that it was square once I finished. And once I had that kind of in place of where I wanted it, I began to go around the frame here and dig out as I needed to in an effort to level level this base. Now it's a little difficult. Some of these pieces of lumber are gonna have twist in them or some sort of bow or, or bend that make it a little difficult once you level one corner, the other's always gonna be a little higher. I did my best to get it as close to level all the way around as I could, knowing that that was gonna be good enough for our purposes with this build. So I'd gotten the tractor supply company and got a couple rolls of poultry netting. Uh, the first one being six feet tall, and that was going to set the height of this chicken run. So I could pretty much unroll this wire around the frame of this run, making cuts where I needed to for the doors and access point. Now with the vertical members in place on the four corners, I was able to get Brandy to come and help hold the top pieces that were gonna connect it all. We're essentially just creating a box. We're gonna put wire around and so her out there, she was able to help hold them while I put the screws in and it made pretty fast work of it. Now that we have the top members in place, it was uh, time for me to figure out where I wanted to put a few more vertical members that were just going to help support one, the top frame, but also give me a place to attach the poultry netting as I started running around. I also ended up placing these not necessarily on the center of the box, but where I needed to around the chicken coop to allow for the entry points and then also to create a three foot wide door uh, on the front side here. So now that I had my vertical members in place, I came back and I needed to create a few additional horizontal attachments or just framing around uh, my access point to these side doors on the coop, but also up and around the roof of the coop, which occurred because I wanted to make sure that the lane boxes were outside of the wiring so that we could access uh, the eggs without having to go inside the run. And so, as you'll see here, I just built the frame up around it and gave myself uh, plenty of attachment points to staple the poultry netting to when I get to that point coming up. So now that all the framing members were in place, the part that I thought was going to be the easiest, just unrolling this wire, actually ended up being the most time consuming piece of this project just due to the sheer number of staples I have a pneumatic staple gun which definitely made faster work of it than a manual staple gun um, but between trying to unroll this wire without it coming back up on you or and then having to go down the line and and uh, with my snips and snip snip off the piece of the excess overhang uh, it just ended up adding a bit more time along with a bunch of small cuts and scrapes <laughs> along the way as that wire will pop back up, roll back up on your ankles or your knees. I would highly recommend wearing boots, jeans, and maybe even a long sleeve shirt when working with this stuff. So then the tedious part, it took a couple days just because uh, I only had it maybe an hour or two each day, but just went around and started placing uh, staples probably every uh, six inches along the frame that we built. All right, so the last thing I needed to do was create the doors uh, that were going to go both for the access point on the side and then also the entry door for us to enter the run. Uh, this was just made out of a few uh, cedar pickets. I ripped them down for the side pieces and then cut them down to size for the width. And then I used fence hardware to attach these to the coop. And just as I did with the chicken run, once the frame was together, I cut some wire to fit and I went around and stapled about every four to six inches, attaching the wire pretty well to the door. All right, so I just wanted to give you a final view of what this chicken run 
uh, ended up turning out like. And so you'll see we got our we got our door put on here. And after being locked in a couple times, I ended up attaching a little wire in here so we can open it from the inside. I've added a small little tunnel, comes out of the coop, just walks around, gives the chickens uh, access to some fresh grass from time to time. And once they clear this path here, I will either expand the tunnel or find a way to shift it some to get them an, onto a new patch of grass. Again, on the back here, we framed around it, so we've got access to come crack this open and pull out the eggs. And then on this side, for cleaning, for pulling these trays out, replacing the cedar shavings inside, I built this door here. I'll, I'll eventually have a latch or something down there, but for now this thing will fold up and give us access to the side doors here and the ability to pull out the trays, replace those shavings, and get them squared away. So that's how the run turned out. This is uh, the final final product right now. It's pretty simple, pretty affordable, pretty cheap. It was easy to put together. Went together real quick. And uh, chicken seemed to, seemed to be enjoying it. And there you have it. All right, so that was the build. And as I add to that run, whether it be tunnels or a feeding trough or watering trough, I'll be sure to document those projects and uh, bring those videos up here for anyone that it might be helpful to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have not already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more, more content as we are looking to constantly improve and bringing you more projects that we pick up along the way on our journey to self-sufficiency, hopefully one day down the road. We're still in the very early stages, but everybody's got to start somewhere. Again, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.